Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do, I'm going to be following up from my latest Sephora haul. I'm going to be ranking the products that I purchased from Sephora from my least favorite to my top favorite. I can link the haul video down below. It is a shop with me, so kind of a vlog style here in Vegas. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, welcome. I just have five products to review today, so thinking it could be a short and sweet video. That's why I decided to do the ranking with them. But before we jump into it, let me show you my OOTD. So uh, today I just have on, what? Today I just have on some black uh, distressed leggings. These are from Laura's Boutique. And then this top, I got it at a local Iowa boutique like five years ago. I've had it for a really long time, but I love it because it is Packer colors. So I think that it is super cute. I also did just get finished filming. Uh, this should be Friday's video, which is a trying new makeup. I have the new tinted sunscreen from Tower 28 on, the new uh, Dirty Martini palette from Glam Light, and a few other new products. So I always link all of my makeup down below, but if you want to see how I got this look, that video should already be up on YouTube. It is also pretty dark outside. It is only, well, it's 6.03, so that's kind of late, uh, but it has been getting dark earlier here. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of, kind of crazy. So I don't know how exactly, you know, fantastic the lighting is, but such is life. Uh, but let's jump into it. So like I said, I just have five products. So I thought it would be fun to rank them from least favorite to top favorite. I love doing the ranking style of videos. So starting in at the bottom, I have a new mascara. I'll say for all the five products, um, there's a couple that I really, really like, but everything else is just kind of fine. There isn't anything that I'm like, ugh, I wish I didn't buy that, I'm not gonna use it again, and that sort of thing. So everything was just kind of in that fine category. Uh, but first up, I have the mascara that I purchased from Patrick Ta. This is the Major Dimension Mascara, I believe it is. And this one does retail for $29. So I like trying new mascaras. I don't wear false lashes a whole often. So I like to try new mascaras. My last beauty battle video that went live, I have four different mascaras in there. So that's where I put products head to head. So I have two high-end mascaras and then two drugstore mascaras. So if you want to see that, I can link it in the cards. But I like trying out new mascaras. So when Patrick Ta released this, I was like, you know what? Let's just give it a shot. So there's what the wand looks like. So this one is more of a wet mascara. And for how it makes my lashes look, I would say it's okay. It gives them some length. It definitely makes them darker, uh, but nothing that stuck out to me, nothing that I thought was super extraordinary. I do like two or three coats when I use this mascara. It's just kind of one of those like so-so, you know, everyday type of mascaras, but I have, you know, some of my go-tos, the Rare Beauty, the Lawless Beauty, the Maybelline Sky High. Those are kind of my go-tos when I want a little bit more dramatic lashes without having to do a false lash. And I love them because they don't transfer on me. This one, the first time I used it, which was in a trying new makeup video, I immediately started to get a little bit of transfer onto my cheeks. And I definitely do get transfer and smudging when I wear it for, you know, six, eight hours or so, it can start to make its way onto my face. But like I said, you know, if I just needed like a mascara in a pinch and just gonna wear it for a few hours, I could reach for this one. My biggest con about this is it is so hard to remove. When I take this off at night, it is raccoon eyes everywhere, which, you know, it's not a huge deal. You're taking off your mascara. A lot of times that can happen with other ones too, but it's just like there's so much mascara melting around my eyes. It, it startles me every time I take off this mascara. I'm just like, oh wow, okay. And then without fail, it's like I cannot get this mascara completely removed. I'll wake up in the morning and you know, I've like rubbed my eyes throughout the night and I still have mascara smudges underneath. And I'm like, okay. So that's like the biggest con to me because I don't have a lot of other mascaras that do that. You know, I like all of my makeup removers that I use. They can take down other mascaras just fine. But this one, it's just, it's so hard to remove. It sticks around so much. So that's, um, that's like the biggest con to me out of this one, but it's fine. Am I going to repurchase this one? You know, definitely not. But will I wear it until I use it all the way up? You know, sure. Next up, I have a brow pencil and I picked up the new one from Makeup by Mario. And so this one is the Master Blade Brow Pencil. I got the shade Light Brunette and this retails for $22. So you have a spoolie on one side and then you have... Um, your brow pencil on the other. It's kind of more of like the goof proof shape. And then it's, uh, you kind of push up the side here whoop, to push it up. And then you can also retract it down, which I do appreciate. Uh, Cause obviously that would have been bad if I couldn't have just pushed that one back down. I think that this is a fine 
uh, pencil again, you know, even the products that I'm putting here at the lower end of the category I think that they're fine. The shade matching is not great for me It's a little bit I would say maybe a little bit too warm for my brows in light brunette But you know that is what it is uh, So I find myself not reaching for it all that often just because I have other brow pencils that are a better shade match for me I'm a 2.5 in benefit. That would be like my most worn uh, brow pencil I would say in both the goof proof and the precisely my brow so for shade matching my perfect shade is 2.5 this one, it's a little bit more on the waxy side, but it's not too waxy. It's not too hard to, um, you know, go through my brows. I would say just sl very slightly on the dry side. I saw some reviews from people saying it was a super dry pencil. I feel like I can get what they're saying, especially after a few, you know, quite a few uses of using it because I've been using these products for probably close to a month now. Um, I can kind of tell where people are, are saying that in the reviews, but it's not like it's dried out. It's not like I have to press really hard to get through my brows, but I can just notice it can be a little bit on the drier side, especially after about probably like four or five uses or so, I was able to notice that. But again, I, it's a fine brow pencil. Is it my favorite? Am I going to repurchase it? No. Will I use it up, especially on days where it's just like, I need a little something in my brows and then it's all good? Yeah, you know, I'll use it for that. It's fine. Next up, I have a product from Milk Makeup, and this is their Bionic Blush. So this retails for $20. It is their new liquid blush. And I got the shade Infinity, I believe is the, yes, Infinity is the one that I picked up. So this is an interesting blush because when I first bought it and I swatched it, I thought that it swatched really sheer. And I was like, oh, okay, which, you know, I don't mind. You can build it up. Or a lot of times, even if I use a liquid blush, I'll set it with a powder blush just because I'm wild and crazy like that. And that's what I like to do. But I was like, okay, you know, that's fine. But then the first time I used it, I did an, an Instagram demo with it. So I can link that down below if you'd like to see it. And I applied it directly to the cheek and started to blend it out. It actually was more opaque than I thought it was going to be. It had more oomph than I, I was thinking it was going to have. But it blends out really easily. I am more into liquid products these days. Sometimes liquid blushes still kind of... I, I tend to prefer cream blush over a liquid blush. But I think that this one is fine. Again, the color is kind of... What I don't love the most about it, I thought this was going to be more of a mauve blush or even like a mauve nude type of blush. That's kind of what it was looking like on mine to me, but it's definitely more pink, kind of like that baby pinky pink color. And I don't go for like pink pink blushes all that much, so I don't absolutely love it on me. So I tend to, even when I use this, I tend to top it with another blush just to get the shade that I prefer. So again, it's I like it. Is it going to be my most reached for? No. Is it going to be an absolute favorite of mine? No. But it's not like it's a terrible product. I just, it's just fine. It's just, I feel like I'm just going to keep saying that. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Next up, I have an eyeshadow palette and my two products, these are the two that I really, really do enjoy. So this is from Huda Beauty and this is the Wild Jaguar palette. And I'm really glad that I like this one because I went back and forth on it. I didn't purchase it right when it came out. I'm not someone who does like I mean, obviously, if you watch my channel, you know, I don't do a lot of like new, new product demos, tutorials, releases. Uh, I've just, I've tried so hard with my YouTube channel not to put that kind of pressure on myself um, because I've had times where I have done it. And once you get into the swing of constantly going after those new releases and paying for the fast shipping and running to your house and filming right away and editing throughout the night and getting them up i know that it's great for views and then that means it's great for getting new subscribers and that's like freaking amazing but i don't i just i don't want to put that kind of pressure on myself because there's times where i've tried it and it truly will like drive you insane <laughs> i i give so much kudos to the creators who can do that and always be on top of it because i know it's so helpful to other people but i also just I do this because I enjoy makeup and I like it and it's fun for me. It's just all of those things. Like I, I try not to have to put that kind of strain and even like financial strain on trying to get all of the new makeup releases all of the time. So you probably know that that's just not kind of, that's just not my vibe. I'm more of like a chatty makeup channel in that sense. But so I, I kept going back and forth because I was like, well, it's not a brand new palette. Is anyone going to want to see my review? Is anybody going to care? You know, I, I buy so much makeup anyways. So it's, you try to be cognizant of that. But I, in the end, I was like, you know what? I want it. I want it for myself. And like I said, I do this because I like it and I like the makeup. So I'm going to buy the makeup I want to buy. It's $29. I like the Huda Beauty palettes. I've purchased several of them for myself and when I saw this color scheme I was just intrigued by it I thought it was different and unique there's some gold in there there's some greens which 
I love greens. I was like, you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and give this a try. And I'm glad that I purchased it. I end up really liking it. I've used the gold shade a bunch. I've been really into gold recently. Um, also the green shades, the purple is really beautiful. We have um, some mattes in here. We also have a matte black. And then we have some matte shades, which is really great for blending. Like this is a palette that I can very easily go into and you can create some really fun looks, unique looks. You can do something a little bit more low key if you want to, you can just use the mattes but it's so easy to use. That middle shimmer shade is so cool. I've used all the shades in the palette now. I've even gone into the black. I'm really happy that I ended up purchasing this one. Um, I can see myself doing a lot more looks with it. And yeah, I'm happy about it. Good purchase, Sam, way to go. <laughs> And finally, coming in at number one, the product that I like the most, this is the Milk Makeup, Milk Makeup, Hydro Grip Eye Primer. So I did demo this today in my trying new makeup video, so if you'd wanna see how I apply it, how I use it, how the concealer looks with it, and all of the things, again, that was Friday's video. But basically, you can use this as an eye primer for your eyelids to grip onto your uh, eyeshadow, I was gonna say mascara, or else you can use it on the under eyes before you do your concealer. And that's how I use it, because I typically don't use a separate eye primer, I just use my concealer, and that's good for me. I know some of you need an eye primer, and if you're someone who especially maybe has oily eyelids and you notice creasing or you know fading throughout the day, I bet that this is gonna be a good one because just like with the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer, it really does grip on to whatever product you are using. So because I have you know fine lines and wrinkles and sometimes my concealer and my powder can't last you know an entire day kind of thing, that's why I was most interested to grab this. I've tried different tips and tricks of how to prolong your concealer, how to make sure your powder doesn't you know settle into your fine lines and all of the things and I just never really found a technique that I was like yes like this is the one that works for me and that's why I like this product so much because when I first put it on I just dab a little bit and then I blend it out it immediately makes my under eyes look smoother which I already appreciate. My concealer always goes on just more flawlessly, I would say. Um, even if I'm using a more dry concealer, like I reviewed the Lancome Tinted Dole recently, it's a little bit more on the dry side, but when I use it with this uh, primer, it just slides on, it blends out so easily. And then when I put powder on top, it really does hold on to those products and I can definitely tell a difference in that it's extending the wear time of my concealer and my powder. So I had high hopes for this one. I was really curious when it came out. You know, I remember talking about it in a Will I Buy It video and I was like, I'm gonna buy that. I gotta test it out and see if it works for that um, because it's definitely something that I get self-conscious about throughout the night, especially because sometimes I put my makeup on pretty early in the day and then I'm going out and, you know, doing all the fun things and living my best life here in Vegas. and. I, you know, I'll go and check my makeup in the mirror. I'm like, oh no, my under eyes. Like, I feel like things are not looking so great. So I know when I have a long night ahead of me, boom, I am definitely using this. So this is a product that I will repurchase. Like I said, it's $24. Um, I would definitely repurchase this one. It's not something that I feel like I need to wear every single day, um, especially if I'm just wearing my makeup just for filming or just for a few hours. But again, on those longer days, I'm definitely going to be wearing this under my makeup. So. I would recommend if it sounds like a product that you know you could benefit to have in your collection, I would definitely recommend this one from Milk Makeup. I was impressed. So that is it for today's video, reviewing my latest Sephora haul in the ranking style. Stay tuned because I should have a new Sephora haul coming soon. I'm either gonna go in store and do a vlog style or I'm gonna order online or I'm gonna do both. Uh, one or the other, but there's a few products I want that are only online. There's a few products I just want to go grab in store because I want them right now. So I will have a new haul coming soon, but definitely would love to know your thoughts on the products that I reviewed in today's video. And if you enjoyed this one, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video.